The weirdest Formula One race in recent history was always bound to get everyone talking, and the harshest criticism was from Max Verstappen. But was it right? Let's take a deeper look. Let's face it, this is what we all wanted. We asked for more competition, a challenge to the Mercedes, less rulebook racing, less tactics, more on-track battles. Yes, we even asked the FIA, let them race. We're all big fan of the big rivalries. We've praised Nicky Lauda and James Hunt, Michael Schumacher and Damon Hill, and the ever so often repeated Prost versus Senna. The latter better especially bears resemblance to the racing we're seeing now. They called Ayrton Senna wild, crazy, dangerous, and he always brought action to the track. Senna is the epitome of the uncompromising, talented Formula One driver, and no one less than Lewis Hamilton himself wore a Senna tribute helmet even two races ago in awe of his hero. And now we're hearing complaints about that racing is too fierce? Just take a look at the real battles in the past in far more dangerous cars and try to repeat that criticism. The only differences are the amount of respect people off track have for the racers and a clear set of rules. It's time to stop whining about racing being too hot because this is racing. And with the new rules allowing for closer action next year, be prepared to see even more. If you're not ready for that, go play chess. That's really one without danger and just the tactics. Two of the harshest Verstappen critics in the past have been Damon Hill and Jacques Villeneuve. Especially for Hill, that's not a miracle. He's a self-declared fan of Hamilton. But he has also raced against one of the fiercest racing drivers ever, Michael Schumacher. Hill knows what it's like to be crushed out of a race to lose a championship. So it was all the more telling when he said some people drive with absolutely no compromise whatsoever and I think Max is one of those. He's very skillful and very brilliant and he's exciting to watch. The words of his former teammate Villeneuve were even more telling. They both do tricks like this all the time. When Lewis does it, there's always a doubt whether he did it consciously or not. That's also the case against Nico. When Rosberg did it, it immediately caught my eye and it looked like dirty play. Now, every racing driver bears a certain responsibility as soon as he or she steps into a car. And they also bear a lot of risk. And they're trained to do that from a very young age. That's why we respect and adore them, because they know how to handle risks better than we do. Going into a medium speed corner side by side and taking last minute evasion action like Max Verstappen did in lap 36 of the Saudi Grand Prix is fierce, but not dangerous. Running your car wide in order to cut off your opponent like Hamilton did in that same moment is fierce, but not dangerous. Then there's the incident in lap 37. If you analyze the telemetry, you'll see both are at fault here. There is no brake test, there's only gradual braking, and Hamilton stayed behind his component instead of overtaking, which is counterintuitive for a racing driver. Braking on a straight isn't smart, but sticking behind a slowing car isn't either. But was it dangerous? Not really. Fierce racing is something else than dangerous racing. Formula One drivers know this better than anyone, calculate these risks all the time, and that's what we've seen from both sides. So it's time for team bosses to stop crying like babies and ask for penalties. Let them race. They're trained to do that. They're the best drivers in the world. And like all young challenges, Max Verstappen has been portrayed in the media as some sort of bad boy. His no-nonsense, straightforward talk allowed his components to take aim at his personality, although they've been guilty of the same tricks. But who cares? We want to see racing, not a PR battle. Like Jacques Villeneuve said, I think Frank Williams has turned over in his grave. Everyone is screaming and increasing the pressures on the marshals and the like. That's ridiculous. We are drifting away from the sport. So in the end, it depends on whether you are a purist or not. And consider me a purist. To put it mildly, consistency has not really been a FIA keyword this year. In Austria, Norris and Perez were punished for pushing competitors off track. And in Brazil, Verstappen did it, though he wasn't penalized at all. 
and Jeddah Hamilton did it after the first restart in turn 1 and lap 40 in turn 13, but didn't get any penalties. In lap 36 of the same Grand Prix, Max Verstappen did it and he was given the choice, give the place back or get a penalty, though he did give the place back and receive the penalty. Now, whatever your opinion on this guy is, one thing we can all agree on. No one knows what the rules are anymore. Like Verstappen said, it was allowed in Brazil, but not here. Even Alonso said different rules apply to different people. It's partly right to blame the race director for this, but more generally speaking, the FIA is to blame here. They let this spiral out of control and Verstappen takes criticism for bending the rules, which, by the way, every racer does always. Now finally, a more human thing. It's easy for all of us to judge racers from our couch or behind the computer, but we're not the ones driving. Max Verstappen is driving a car on its limit and he has to do so because this Red Bull is not as fast as this Mercedes. Like Christian Horner said, I don't think people realize what Max is doing in that car. I don't think people realize that we haven't had the best car all year. Max did this. Same way Hamilton deserves great credit for his driving. And whether you're a fan of Max or Lewis, that shouldn't really matter. If you're a fan of the sport, you must respect the driving of these guys. They're the best out there and they all make mistakes. That's a human thing and it's a part of the sport. Senna, Lauda, Schumacher, they all had their tricks. Even Juan Miguel Fangio had his tricks. Let them bend the rules. Let them race. So what do you think? Who will be world champion? Please do leave your comments. Of course, keep it respectful. And of course, like and subscribe.